Yeah, other than the fact that it's an area of effect, it's pointless to cast anything on you. Your uh, armor class and bonuses are so insane. And then, Darf, you're spellless too, aren't you? Correct. Excellent. Oh, shit, I should have targeted Titus again. Uh, look, I'm already about to be sucked in. Now you can focus on the big threats. Yeah, that was what I was thinking, but I want to get rid of that deflection thing. No, you don't. Just move on, man. Look at the other thing. Okay, um, as per Titus's request, we will move on. Everyone can roll a perception check. Okay, I feel like you misinterpreted my request. You said move on. We're moving on. Okay, um, looks like everyone but Eurus notices the breach throb and uh, kind of bow. And the beholder begins to emerge from it. Oh, God damn it! Good job, Titus. Yeah, Titus, way to go. Uh, all according to plan? Well, look at it this way. He can't dispel you. I feel like you know what that means, and sh how dare you. Why can't he dispel him? Well, it's anti-magic, so if he's looking at him, he can't ire him because anti-magic, and if he's not looking at him, the spell resumes effect, because it's not... It's anti -magic oh, is that how it works? Okay. Oh, I yes. thought you meant it would just you automatically can, get rid of it. You can infer whatever you want. But that's how normal beholders work. Who knows how freaky far realm beholders work. I have a question, actually. Is my stinking cloud getting sucked into the river? Yeah, the stinking cloud's gone. It no, just, but... It takes a minimum of one round to disperse it, so that was the one round. Right. Uh, does it not get sucked into the rift? Yeah, it gets swirled around inside the green area. The winds are super strong, and it's okay. basically dispersed as soon as the minimum time goes. I looked it up. I think it's one round for a super strong wind. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping it flies towards the beholder. No, because it's dispersed before it goes anywhere. Okay. It doesn't move as a cloud. It just gets blown away. <coughs> All right. Okay, then sense. we're on to initiative. Um, my roll 20 is doing something exceptionally dumb. Let's see if I can roll. I need to restart roll 20. Then. There we go. They're rolling a nine for initiative again. What a load of shit. But I do have these new bracers I just found. You can put them on, one on each eye. He'll just eat them. Power his magical abilities. I think it's actually scrolls that they eat. But it's funny either way. Chua, what are you doing? Uh, manifest schism. Then I'm going to shoot at this beholder with two acid splashes, I guess. Okay. Okay. So he takes well acid damage. And I'm done. Okay, Titus, you're up. Roll your reflex save. Uh, I will. And I'm going to use the one of my once a day is on the save. Nice. And you said 20? Yeah, Thank it's DC 20 where you are. Wonderful. 
Um, okay, I'm going to use Enlarge Person here. Okay, roll your uh, spellcraft. Oh, is it a because of wind? Yep. Uh, can I ask what the DC is? Um, I think it's 15 or 20. Okay. Roll the check. I'll look it up if we need to know. Mm, we need. I to guess know. we do. Yeah. <laughs> it's a first level spell, if that matters. Yeah, guess. you add the level of the spell to the DC. Okay. I'm mean, gonna guess these guys don't have the evil subtype, do they? Beholders? Fuck yeah. Were they, they have the evil subtype? Oh, not the evil subtype, no. The evil subtype is usually an outsider. Yeah. Like evil, an evil outsider. Evil subtype is basically irredeemable evil. So what you're telling me is Ference would totally have a shot here. He doesn't have a shot anywhere he goes. I'm sorry, what? I say it with respect. This being the person playing the one character who believes in him. <laughs> the character does. Yeah, it would be DC 20 plus uh, the spell level. Okay, I'll lock it. Oh, okay. Why didn't you just say that? Well, I, I might not have needed it. That's fair. Um, I can choose the way it grows. Yes, you can choose the way it grows. Can we go this way? Like these four squares? I was going to grow you towards the rift. <laughs> I'm going to five foot away. We're going to go this way. I'm going to use Intimidate on these things. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I get a plus four to this. Minus two for two enemies. Ooh, oh well, I tried. 23. 23 I got a beat, and I get eight plus my wisdom. Yep. Oh, look at me go. You know what? I would. He was the guy that has. He's holding on the bracers. Yep. Uh, I want him to re-roll that. Okay. Oh baby. Damn. Okay. Well, I tried. Um, standard swift or standard free since I didn't move. That was the move action. Um, what if I do that as a swift? Yeah, okay. That is the turn. Okay. Then what is the bonus for the reflex going forward, just so I know? Plus four for the save, for your size. Okay, thank you. Same penalty Lex takes. Ah. Lex, you're up. So there's our reflex save. At least get that out of the way. Wow, thirty nine. What the hell's your reflex? He's got uh, that crazy 21. ass deflection thing. Oh yeah, because you're plus seven, but that's still twenty one. Still makes plus the base nine. fourteen. Uh, six base, four dex, nine protection, and two from other stuff. Oh okay. All right, I'll cast my orb. Okay, you're casting it at the breach or at someone else? At the uh, goth. Okay. The one holding my bracers. I don't think a 10 will hit him. Hit his touch, will it? A 10? 
Uh, touch AC is 12. No. Sorry, I guess I got in your way. You definitely did. Well, it wouldn't matter. I didn't realize I rolled a 2. Fair enough. And then I'll do two more magic missile lessers into the breach. Okay. Is firing at the beholder at this point the same as firing into the breach? No. Okay, worth a shot. That's it for me. Okay, then we're under Titus. Oh, sorry, uh, we're under yours. So I make the reflex save at the start of my turn? Yep. Can I fail the weak one? Uh, yeah, but failing the weak one means you're sucked into the bigger one. Yeah, but I'm sucked into reach. And then I'll attempt the stronger one. Okay. Uh, and then I will... Five foot step up and attempt to do horrible things to this goth. Okay. Please actually, elaborate. Actually, I won't five foot step up. I'll just stay there. They are not specifically uh, enemies of Lefander. Wait, crap. I only have the one maneuver left because I switched to Iron Heart Surge. Yeah, okay. I'll five foot step up and I will attempt death from above. Okay. God damn it. You go, girl. Uh, I will end up over here. And that's my turn. Okay. Uh, then we are on to Darth. Oh, son of a bitch. He get in your way? Yeah. I was like, good, perfect. I'm at a perfect distance so I won't hit Titus. Well, I guess I better start with my reflex save. Yep. Wind Rider Strike is fitting since you're riding the wind. Yeah, that's that's what he he named it on the spot. How could you tell? Oh, I thought that was the name of the maneuver, and you just picked it because you're in the wind. <laughs> no. Yaris, did you just move? Uh, how do you mean? I like, are you diagonal north. now, or...? He's just I... north, uh, west of the be Beholder, the Goth. Okay, because when I initially looked, he was directly in front of it. Yeah, right. he was. He moved five feet north. That was his maneuver. Yeah, it, it moves me and does a whole bunch of other stuff, but I rolled okay, a net. No, that, that works, because I can move and still hit this thing without hitting other people. All right, and then another breath. Twenty-two. Can't do that. The gout of in infinite dodging. All right, that ends my turn. Okay, then we are on to the Gouth. Hmm. 
He will five foot to there. And then start his barrage. Start with Charm Person and Power Word Sleep on Eurus. When he Charm, hits. Charm Person. No. I've already had my heart broken once. Yep. Uh, Scorching Ray and Inflict on Darth. Darf? I think both of those are misses on you, aren't they? Yes. Uh, we already got a greater mage hand going on him. So we will do our dispel magic lecture. The only one with magic left, right? Yes. Like, did you did you keep yours, Chua? Um, I have weaker. And I'm guessing you still have Vigor. Cool. Okay, then Geth number two. <clears throat> Let's just keep wailing on Eurus with the charms. Eighteen to hit on you? Eighteen is exactly enough. Okay, power word sleep. Nineteen. Nice. Okay, then we'll go... Back to Darf. Nineteen and twenty-one. Against two. Darf. Both misses. You suck. Wait, touch AC? Yep. Yeah, he has reflecting armor. Oh, so nice. I, I have my current AC is twenty-two touch. Well, for rays. Nice. Okay. Um, then let's do a uh, greater mage hand on Lex. Oh, missing horribly. And then the big guy will come out. And they don't have to measure anything with him. So everyone can get their Dispel Magics ready. Doesn't he have just Anti-Magic? He has Anti-Magic or uh, Dispel Magic. And in this case, he definitely wants to use Dispel Magic. Okay. So that's 13 plus... Two, so 15. Okay, well, we'll start with Lex because I am excited about removing his spells. I think that gets rid of your spells. You suck. No, I don't. 40 and 36 are excellent rolls. Uh, then we go my, on. My statement stands. Yep. Uh, Chua, you, you still you lost your vigor, right? Uh, not yet. Oh, okay. Well, now you can lose it. 29. Does that work? Yep. Yep, that will do it. Anybody got any spells left? Other than yep. Titus? What do you got, Titus? Enlarge and deflection? Yep. Oh, There's baby. a spell left on that pair of uh, bracers. There's a spell that on is... bracers? Yeah, it's yeah, the is. Is. Any oh. chance this the spell magic is a ray and not a cone? It is uh, a cone. It, is it? But it does it discriminate? It does not. So it would technically get rid of the uh, thingy for the bracers. I will roll for that. Oh, <laughs> maybe it That's doesn't. The, 
this this beholder knows what he's doing. Yeah, apparently. Okay, now let's uh, nerf Titus. Oh. Enlarge stays, right? Uh, yeah, because that would be a 21. Yeah, that would fail. Bye-bye ray deflection. It served me well. I can't complain. Yeah, because they all avoided you for the duration. Yeah. Okay, then he will bite you. It's kind of rude. Waka, waka, waka. Uh, that hits. Okay. Twelve points. Nice. Perfect. Um, then the breach uh, throbs again and shrinks. Nice. Although that happens after uh, the Beholder kills everyone. So you might not see that. Rude. You know, if you could mind control one of these Beholders to shoot a bunch of spells into the breach. Uh, that's actually a good idea. I, don't know. I could try that. What you have left. Oh, would what you that, got it done. Would that be a command that negates their nature? No, the breach is not something they specifically care about. Okay, cool. Really? Okay. Yeah, the beholders um, think of this as an opportunity, but they're very individ individualistic in general. So they're here now. So they already won. They don't care about the breach. Mm, okay. Whereas the Azeroth wants more creatures to come through to help it. Interesting. Okay. Okay, let's continue with our nerfing. We'll start with a charm monster on Chua. Uh, not on me for once. Sure, it needs to hit me first. They probably heard you say Wind Rider Strike and realized you're already on their side. Hey, it would have been cool. It would it would have been like watch, yeah. It would have been. Oh, that's that, terrible. Yeah, that misses. Yeah, I didn't realize he was so crappy. His uh, his attack's only one higher than the other guy. I thought it was higher than Big that. weapon focus Irie. Yeah, I probably should have taken that. That would have made a lot of sense. Oh, but he does have point blank shot. But I'm um, definitely out of range for that. Yeah, it only ups it by one. I keep forgetting to add that for all of the spells that do damage. But yeah, focus uh, I ray would have been an excellent choice. Normally I, I'm down on I, I don't think weapon focus is great, but when you're shooting like five I rays around, no, I'm I'm of exactly the same opinion. That's why I didn't even consider it. But in hindsight, their attack is actually really terrible. Okay, then we will do slow on Chua. He needs to hit me again. That misses too. Okay. And then we will do disintegrate on Chua. Harsh. But much more effective. Okay. Uh, what do I need to roll here? Fortitude save. I will use my once a day negate fortitude save. Okay. Because I don't want to be disintegrated. Okay, so he can... That's the end of his attacks he can put on Chua. Who here would be a good person to fear? Oh, you're not large anymore, are you? Oh, no, you kept your large, didn't you? It was your ray that went away. I don't like Titus, so let's fear him. Ugh, miss. What a crock. Let's go with the next best thing, flesh to stone. 19 touch AC? For me? Yep. Yeah. 
After the fight, the Beholder takes the statue back to his lair as a decoration. Um. An enlarged Titus. That would be a cool de decoration. Ran random question. Does this count as a spell? Yeah, it is. It's like a spell-like ability. It's in the same category. So my once a day as an immediate action turn a spell back on its caster as per spell trainings? Yeah, that would work. I'd like to try that. Okay. I don't know if I have to do something. <laughs> no, you just automatically do it. I just have to look up what his fortitude save is. I guess cool. uh, that that attack would hit him. So let's see. Does he have any protection against that? I don't think he does. That might be really, really bad. Sixteen. Uh, his eye rays have a DC of eighteen, so he, or of seventeen, so he can lock that up. Damn. Yeah, that would have been epic. If yeah, you know what? Himself himself stone. You know what? Can I just say that? Is if he had disintegrated himself? <laughs> can can I can I lock that down? You can lock it down if you want. I'll I'll lock that down by two. That's awesome. <laughs> That's way better than whatever I was going to use my luck on anyway. I'm sorry. What's happening? I blinked out there. He tried to use flesh of stone on me. Uh, I turned it back on him, and Darth made him fail. Oh, with your uh, Mistra thing? The Bane, yeah. Oh, Bane. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he has any defense against it. That is super depressing. <laughs> That's awful. Turns to stone, then drops to the ground. Shattering on impact. Okay, that uh, was terrible. So then the breach shrinks, and we're back to initiative. I, I assume you meant terribly awesome? No, that was just plain terrible. That, I spent a lot of time working on that. He got one round. He didn't even finish his round of attack. Wait, wait, wait. Who managed to slay the Beholder? Titus. I was going Titus to the toilet for a moment. Technically himself. I was say the Beholder. Titus He's managed to reflect the attack on him. He still had Inflict Critical, Finger of Death, um, and Telekinesis to use. What a fucking load of crap. And then another no. Beholder comes through the portal. <laughs> Wait, did I go that round? Oh, uh, I, I did. That was yeah. the one I flubbed it. It just long rounds because all the eye rays. Yeah, that because of all the eye rays, it takes forever to resolve each round. We got probably like eighteen minutes left, and that'll probably be one round of attacks. Um, Chewie, you're up first. Okay, we said we want to take control of one of them. Fine, yeah. let's let's try to have some fun. Uh, Fifty is here, so I move to. Oops, sorry. So I move to there. And I will attempt Roll your reflex save. How are you okay, moving okay. there? Um, uh, on the ground. Okay. Minus how much? Minus eight. Or minus eight, so it would be twenty-three. Uh, ah, twenty-three DC. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay, and now I will attempt to charm person this thing. Okay, roll your will save. Or, or psionic charm, more specifically. Yep, whatever. Same diff. Yep. Uh, he's plus 10. That's pretty nice. 28. Crap. Okay. Uh, now I will over channel to allow my schism to attempt to do the same. Okay. So, first, I need to take my over channeling damage. Uh, oops, this is one more. I misclicked. So 12 damage total. Well, he fails and... the second save, so if you make the uh, the will save, you should be fine. I will just add my inspiration to this will save. So it's plus 7 to whatever. How many nice. inspirations do you have left? Now one. 
after I use that. Natural okay. Um, okay, so he now believes that he's my friend, or bestest friend. Inspiration uh, is uh, just a morale bonus, isn't it? Uh, no, it is... Let me double check one second. And blah, 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 blah. One second, one second. I'll, I'll check this properly. Um, saving throw competence bonus. Okay, so you'd still fail that because you rolled a two. Oh, it's a two. Um, crap, anyone has one luck? Well, you need two luck in order to... Ah, I need two luck. Okay, anyone has two luck? I think we burned everything now. Okay, then I'll have to roll my second will save. Oh, God damn it! Okay. So, um, my you... schism is gone, and I'm out, uh, and I'm affected by whatever that thing does. Okay, you are confused. Okay. Yours, you're up. Uh, uh, wait, this thing still believes he's my friend. Though. Yep, but you're confused at the moment. Okay. Well, sorry for the bad advice. Uh, I'm going to five foot step up to this guy and try and eat him up. Uh, I will do a swift action and do a standard action attack to try and get my maneuvers back while I'm at it. Okay. Actually, no, I'll five foot step over here because I can flank him, right? Does my presence block the wind for him? No. So roll your reflex save. Nice. All right. Uh, so I'll five. I'll uh, attack him here. So I'm flanking. And I reclaim my maneuvers. Okay. That's my turn. Then we're on to Lex. I'll shoot magic missile into the breach. Okay. And then a mess, uh, lesser. Okay. Uh, then we're on to Durf. Oh, I gotta fill that up to 10. Yep. You know, the more powerful the spell is, the more, uh, weave it draws. All right, let's do reflex. Another flame on the gals. Wait, isn't that the one he charmed? Yeah, that's the charmed one. Leave it alone. Yeah, but you didn't give it any orders. There's no enemies around here, then? There is one here. Well, nobody knows that that Gouth is charmed. That's fair. Uh, I'm unable to, like, yell it or something? You're unable to do anything after you touch its mind, and you don't know whether or not it made the save until you touch its mind. Okay. You know that it's charmed, but you don't have any way of conveying that to the party. Okay. All right. Well, flames it is. I made my reflex save and I failed it. That ends my turn. Uh, 
I didn't realize the initial saving throw was based on there being combat. I don't think it would have made a difference in this situation. <laughs> uh, then we are on to Titus. But technically, he would add a plus five to that save. Well, the one he failed, oh. you're older than that one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, is I don't think it, uh, it comes into play. I just thought he got a second save if someone else targeted him. But I don't think that's the case. No, it doesn't seem to specify that. Yeah, so Darf attacking him doesn't change anything. Um, let me see. It was 20, so 17. So I have three. So and I guess it's still time. a bonus for a reflex save? I'm 20 feet away from that breach. I guess that makes <laughs> I, sense. I fail, I'm dead. And you're six and a half spell levels from it closing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, of course I'm using it. And... I could five foot to at least get myself a round of safety, right? Um... Yeah, you could five foot diagonally to the northwest of the Gauth, and then at least if you get sucked in, you're only uh, on the edge of the breach. Yeah, that would be safe for me, or at least for that next round, right? Yep. Okay, then I'll finish the attack. Nice. Holy shit, you just smoked him. It's a shame. I, uh, there's no way I can take... The pieces are gone, isn't there? Uh, yeah, the pieces are probably rolling and tumbling around on the ground. Um... A beholder would be a pretty big, solid chunk of rock. Like, the eye stalks would all shatter off, and the jaw would probably break off. But the core skull and brain would just be a big boulder on the ground. Okay. You I can maybe grab that's... one of the eye stalks as a trophy. I'm going to be honest. I want to try and get the image of the center eye as the trophy. <laughs> yeah, the, the core part of it, like, everything from its upper jaw to its eye stalks will be intact. So if you win this battle, you can attempt to bring it back with you. Wonderful. Thank you. That's my turn. Okay, then we're on to the Gauth, which just ticks down. And then we're on to the Breach, which doesn't do anything this round. So uh, then we'll, we'll just jump back to Chua. What are you doing? So how does it work now? Well, there's no enemies at the moment, so I was just going to scroll through the initiative again. No, I mean, I'm confused now. You have to roll your confusion. Yeah, so i never been confused before, so I don't know oh, what I'm doing. Oh, sorry. Um, I have to look up the table. Just roll a percentile to determine what you do. Anyone know what the confused table is? Uh, 56 is flee away from Caster at top possible speed. Okay, so you run away, Chua. Okay, so I'm on the other map because I can run away very, yep. very fast. You just have to note how far you are. You don't have to actually move. Okay. Well, uh, have to stay where you, you are, around. right, that you're 300 feet to the west. Oh, it's much more than that. Um, yeah, but you're running on the ground. Only until I can start flying from here. It says top speed. So I move Oh, I 20. guess the first thing you would do is roll your reflex save. That is fair. Thank you, Titus. <clears throat> so I spent 20, then I spent 4. So I'm 520 feet away. Okay. Yours, what are you doing? Uh, so it's just the, the portal left, right? Yep, DC 20 reflex. I will cast Cyanic Grease at it. Sionic Grease at what? At the portal, because we're trying to close it, right? Oh, you're just casting a spell into it? Okay. What yeah, level is first that? level spell. It's just a first level spell. It's the only spell I have that targets something other than myself. Okay. Is that all you're doing? Uh, I'll move outside of the tough winds, and that's my turn. Okay. Then we're on to Darf. Uh, what, Lex doesn't get a turn? Oh, sorry. Lex, you go. All right, first I'll cast uh, Creeping Cold Grater. It's a level four spell. 
followed by using my peerless speed magic missile, followed by magic missile lesser. That's 5.5 spell levels. Okay, that is enough to shrink the breach to size large. Destroyed. Now your scroll will work on it. Uh, Darf, you're up. Uh, I'll just stand next to Lex in case he gets uh, sucked into the void or sucked in. I'll pull him back out. Okay. And then we're into Titus. Nice. I'm going to grab the trophy and I'm going to move out. Grab the bracers? Yeah, I can grab that too. <laughs> <laughs> Just forget completely about the bracers. Oh, when did you guys kill that other gouth? Two rounds ago, didn't you? Yeah, that one I just saw dead. I don't know how. Well, this that's just my initiative token. I moved it down from the top. Uh, but you guys killed this gouth this round and the other one last round. Because Titus murdered it, didn't he? I am killed this one. Eurus, I think, killed that one with two attacks. Yeah, yeah that sounds familiar. Because it was almost dead and I just made two attacks to make sure. So that was three rounds ago because I also had the... No, wait, it was... So last round I, I uh, cast Santa Cruz. One round before that, I did the strike on that, or I did a normal attack on the Goth. The round before that, I flubbed this uh, maneuver, and then the round before that, I did the. Yeah, but when did this this Goth go? Th it That's was what I'm saying, same... four rounds ago. No, I, I, that was the same round that this one died. Um, they died at the same time. First round, I tried the initiative. They both passed with your bullshit 23s. Um, next round, uh, that one was already dead, so I finished that one. Okay. I'm not sure who killed it then. I was wrong. No, that's fine. It just as soon as it stops uh, hanging onto the the bracers, they start to fly towards the breach. Could I have, uh, since I would have been within reach here of that one and the skull, could I have grabbed both of them? You cannot grab both. You have to pick one. Uh, I'll grab the bracers. Okay, are you staying inside to grab the skull? Um. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, and I'll fly then this gouth will move away I'm just going to move the braces with me yep that's fine I just need to know the action economy everything else is irrelevant yeah. okay then the breach doesn't get a, an official action this round so we're back to Chua You're, you can roll your confusion What 64 is, that? is continue to flee, so you're going to be back to town before anything happens. Uh, yeah, Yaris? So, um, I'll just cast Santa Grease into it again, I guess. It right, doesn't really matter enough? at this point. Uh, what's the range on Grease? Uh, I don't know. That's why I was asking. Well, I, I will do that if I can, and if not, I'll just stand there. Uh, Grease is close. So I'm guessing you're not high enough level to cast it that far. Nope. Okay, then we're on to Lex. I will cast the spell now. Okay, and I don't think you have to do anything to achieve that since you're high enough level now. Okay, then everyone can roll a fortitude save. Including me? Uh, no, you're too far away. Everyone okay. within the wind area. Uh, Titus, you are minus five to this save. How long am I confused, by the way? Oh, sorry, Chui, you also get a will save each round for the confusion. Oh. Oh. Mm. Then I guess I'm no okay, Titus, too, no. you are stunned. I dropped the braces, don't I? Yep, but it doesn't matter now because the uh, breach collapses. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, if we're out of initiative, then I believe I'm out of confusion, so I'll come back. 
Yeah, if you make the will save, then you can fly back. You made cool. the first will save? Yep. Okay, so then you just fly back after your first round of running away. Cool. Yeah, the confusion lasts a round per hit die, so it would have been eight rounds, and you get a save each round, but it's a full round action to uh, resist, or it happens at the end of your turn, effectively. Mm -hmm. All right, we're victorious. We defeated the first arc enemy. Yeah, that uh, that ended up being a lot longer than I expected. Like ninety percent of it was the beholder rounds. Not the, no, no, no. Uh, I meant. I, I understand in, why. It in one. game, uh, chapter wise, usually the first chapter is about fifth level. Um, <laughs> I think it just got drawn out because I had so many ideas about different creatures I wanted to have come out of this one, and I got too caught up in that without really thinking about how much XP you guys would gain in that window. Ah, oh, that's fair. I wanted to do the Ferrum, and I wanted to do Beholders, and I wanted to do the Illithid, and I wanted to do the Cloaker, and there were just so many cool monsters that I wanted to make it seem really uh, unique and weird, uh, but most of the things that you could fight had to be low-level things, because everything above that is Beholders and Illithids, so I had to throw all the cool stuff in right at the beginning and then you still had to deal with the big stuff at the end okay well it is officially two o'clock so we're at the end of our session uh you guys have any questions before i take off we'll loot the bodies you loot the bodies uh, i don't believe there is any treasure here oh we got one priceless treasure that you got the beholder head um, Lex pointed, uh, posted the treasure from the other creatures in there, but, uh, the beholders, uh, can't go back and forth through the breach. So once they come through, anything they left behind is left behind. Oh, they can't go back? Well, they can go back, but they, there's a limit to how many creatures can come through the rift. So they... Once they go through it, they don't want to go back. They want to explore this new world. If they go back, then they have to deal with their turn coming through their breach. I see. There is like a, a line there. Well, I don't, I don't know so much if there's a line, but there's like a point in the day, like every hour a creature can come through. They either stand around at the portal and wait for it to pulsate and let them go through, or they just happen to be going by when it happens, but they're not going to go back to their home and collect all their treasure and bring it through the portal because they don't know what's on the other side and once they get through they don't really want to go back because they don't know exactly how it works yeah. these guys are all just here by random chance except of course the uh, boss beholder which was just my boss fight so I made the big guy come through at the end I mean I have to admit that was a pretty epic finish to him though that was yep. fucking hilarious that he went down uh, to his own spell. I love that. That's pretty funny. Yeah, and that's actually one of the abilities I stole from the Mistra table, because uh, I thought Bane should have at least one of his mother's abilities. Yeah, I never thought it would be really great when I chose Bane. I'm like, this isn't a great capstone. I can put my own foot in my mouth now. Yeah, Bane is actually really awesome. Uh, Wait, if... what, what ability is that? The spell turning ability? He gets to turn oh. one spell back. That is... I... One thing that I took, Bane as a god has sorcerer levels, so he is uh, like an arcane spellcaster, but he draw, he gets that uh, tendency from his mother, who is Mistra, the god of magic. So when I was picking the things on the table, I picked lots of fear-based, intimidate-type stuff that he could do, and then I threw in just one thing that I thought was really cool that he would take from his mother's side. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay. Um, anything before I go? No, thank you very much. No, yep, for me. thank you. Okay, awesome so, session. So we head back yep. to town after this? Uh, yeah, you, unless you want to pursue the sick goth fleeing to the west, or to the east. But yeah, there's nothing between you and the exit at this point, so you can just leave if you want to leave. Is that your plan? Is it, or are we going to stay and try to clean up the cave? 
it's li links to the Underdark. What's the point of trying to clean it? I mean, this is the place for the goblins. Uh, assuming we know where they are, um, that we can probably... I'm fine either way. We can all either have them do it, or we can do it. It's a win-win either way. I don't have a strong opinion. I just want to know so I can prep for your next session, because this is the end of my material. So if you guys are going to explore the cave down here, I can set up the stuff down here. If you want to move on to the next adventure, we can do that. You don't so have to there, decide there, at this moment. You can just tell me during the week. Are there, like, tons of these uh, rifts, or just, the, just like, the one? I think you guys have heard rumors of more mutant goblins to the north that you didn't check out. I think at some point Titus asked about other strange occurrences, and in the forest to the north... There are some aberrant goblins up there, which would indicate that there is another breach over there somewhere. Or they could just be aberrant goblins who escaped from here and made it that far. Interesting. <coughs> but there is a surging goblin issue to the north in the forest. All right, just let me know. Um, uh, because if obviously we go to town, I want to preach, and I can do that off time. Yeah, I also would like to preach. Yeah, you guys are outside of H5. It isn't actually to the north. It's actually straight to the east. It's over by H3. Or straight to the uh, west, sorry. Uh, whoever's keeping okay. track of treasure, Yuris was borrowing a uh, amulet of constitution that he didn't want to actually buy until we got back to town. So that's back in the treasure pile now. Nice. All right. Yeah, that was the other thing. Is if we're going back to town, I'll have the treasure ready. Yep, that's fine. Um, just let me know during the week what your plan is. Uh, I won't be prepping for this game until next week, so just let me know yep. by next weekend. How many days of downtime do we have? Or, like, travel from my perspective is downtime? Um, you have one day to get back to town, one and a half days to get back to town, and then whatever time you blow from there. Okay, so one town to preach at, and like two days of crafting, basically. Yep. Got you. Okay. I'm still waiting for like three different items I paid for in advance to arrive, so I'm here for at least two weeks. You're gonna wait the two weeks? Uh, I mean, I, I guess I, I guess I can like tell them to forward it somewhere else. Yeah. yeah, you can send a message and forward it somewhere else if you decide you want to go to H3 and uh, have your items delivered there. You can send a message. If you got two weeks, you got more than enough time to send a message and then have it returned. Sounds good. Okay, I yeah. will catch you guys later. See you guys awesome. in a couple Thank hours. Thank you. Later.